Hi everyone, I'm Tim Little. I'm going to show you how to put Linux onto your PS3 uh, after you have all the necessary files and whatnot installed. Okay, you can look it up how to do it on the internet. Start under System Settings. Um, you're going to want to, if you're installing it, if you plan, we don't show you how to install it in this tutorial, but if you plan on installing it, go under Install Other OS. You're going to have to back up all your data so that you can partition the hard drive for Linux. Uh, but for now, we're just going to for now we're just gonna boot Linux up and then eventually boot back to PS3 not installing Linux permanently we're just gonna boot it up so go under default system change it from PS3 to other OS screen might get a little weird yeah hit yes uh, the screen might get a little weird uh, it will as a matter of fact it will get a little weird um, just be patient with it wait about 15-20 eh, seconds it should be up if it's not, you got a problem with your screen, obviously. Uh, so let's play the waiting game right now. Still waiting. Any second now. Whenever you're ready. Any second now. There we go. Okay, you're at the K boot menu. Um, okay, it says if in doubt, just press enter. And yeah, you're in doubt, so you're gonna want to hit enter because there's really not much you can do from here if you're a, if you're unless you're a Linux buff or whatever. I'm not a Linux buff. Um, you're gonna see um, in this capture, I yeah, I accidentally hit a backslash. You can't hit any characters. You can just and hit enter. You just hit enter with any with, you know not hitting any characters. Just hit enter and it'll say loading kernel with I N I T R D. I believe that is. And that's the uh, that's the core Linux file, or the booting part of the Linux file. And so right now it's preparing Linux for you. It's preparing, it's preparing all the drivers, all the unnecessary files, so that you can run Linux on PS3. And yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time too, especially the first time you do this. But I mean, hey, it's got an open office on it. It's got a lot of useful apps, um, especially if you're running on a big screen TV. Definitely consider putting this in because it's like another computer. Takes a little bit of time, definitely. But it will be worth it in the end. And installing it, I, I should also add that installing it does take a lot of time. Installing will take a couple hours. Even for the fastest PS3. Installing installing it permanently on the disk will take a couple hours. And again, I you know I emphasize this a lot because I don't want you to lose your data. If you should decide to install this, you get all the you know if you decide to install Linux on PS3, you want to back up the files. You have to, because otherwise you're going to be formatting the hard disk and you're going to lose all your files. And it has happened before. This is definitely the longest part. This is the uh, annoying part of the. Of the Linux process. Okay, there we go. There we go. It should be should load relatively quickly from here. I guess this part's a little long too. And this, should, but I believe this should be done very soon. It shouldn't take too long. Definitely not as long as the first part did. But I could be wrong. Come on. Okay, it looks like the network, yeah, I think it says network interface, this is done. Carl log, all that other stuff done. Oh, 
and it should be coming onto the screen right about now. Yep, that's the uh, that's the icon for Linux, or the little mouse pointer thingy. Yeah, that that and that's the background too. The the background of Linux is usually orange. Linux is um, a couple words about Linux. It's it's free. It's um it's open software. Um, anybody can pretty much change it. It's got Open Office on it. By Open Office, I mean um, the equivalent of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, those types of programs. The whole Microsoft Office. Only it's not Microsoft. It's it's Open Office. You know, it's it's Open Office. It's completely free. You can go online and download it. Go to the Linux website. You know, simply Google Open Office, download. Um, and and you can do this. This isn't. I mean, I'm not. I'm not putting this video out here so that, you know, to amaze you. I mean, this is something that you can do. This is something that's useful, that I found useful. That I have a few friends um, that play PS PS3 that have found this useful. Um, you simply have to read up about it. You have to put the right files on, and you know, burn the image of it correctly, put an installer on there, and it can become yours. Okay, so now we're at the main menu. You got a couple icons there. I, I believe most of them, you know, should in some way, shape, or form get you into the main menu. So choose choose one of the icons. I believe, yeah, I think it's the, actually the last one. But they all pretty much do the same thing. But the last one will, at least will launch you launch the desktop.